Hi friends, American philosopher and author Van Dyer once said, Heaven is a state of mind, not a location. So welcome friends to part 2, just go to chill, Odil. In this session, we will learn how to anchor our state of mind for positive things. Friends, do you think your mood will impact the quality of your communication? Do you think if you maintain a positive state of mind, it will impact your day to day life? Are you choosing a positive state of mind before an important situation? Or is the external world choosing mood for you? If your mood or state of mind is irritating, frustrating or anger before an important event, then your results will be poor in that situation. In contrast, if you are feeling motivated, confident, inspired, then you will be able to give your best. Our ability to manage our state is more important as the world around is not in our control. There are numerous situations where being able to control your state is useful. For example, before or during an interview or sport competition or before giving a presentation and while presenting or in a difficult meeting or asking your boss a pay raise these sort of situations now think of the state that would be most useful to you in your professional life and personal life now think of a few situations that might cause you some unease giving a presentation before a group of people or it could be going to an interview or dealing with aggression or having your ideas challenged in public so in those situations how do you want to feel at the time confident alert curious authoritative energized how to be in the right state at the time you can change your state of mind or mood easily by using the technique called anchoring this means you can stay calm and relaxed whatever other people are doing now you may ask what is an anchoring in nlp an anchoring in nlp is the relationship between a trigger and a change in the mood an anchor is a term used in nlp to describe stimulus that leads to a response if you look at the word anchor it is significant that the metaphor of an anchor is used in NLP terminology. The anchor of a ship or boat is attached by the members of the ship crew to some stable point in order to hold the ship in a certain area and keep it from floating away. To extend the analogy fully, a ship could be considered as the focus of our consciousness on the ocean of experience. Anchors serve as a reference point which help us to find a particular location on this experiential sea and to hold our attention there and keep it from drifting. Anchor is a way of creating a good feeling whenever you need to feel positive or energized. In our life, many of anchors are created naturally. For example, when you hear a song, it evokes a feeling. You recollect some past moments and you feel different. Or, as we see our national flag, we enter into a different state. Or, certain perfumes make us feel different. Anchors are instant and automatic because they work at unconscious level. Advertisers use this principle of stimulus and response with their advertisements. We watch a chocolate advertisement and we want to eat the chocolate. The process of establishing an anchor basically involves 
associating two experiences together in time in a sense the theory of anchoring is simple if we can link the state that we want to access to a particular stimulus that could be a picture sound physical movement taste smell or combination of this then when we replicate this stimulus we will immediately get into the desired states so let's do an anchoring exercise now